Okay, hello there, thank you for the visit. There are new facts about the bad modulation on the Cybernet boards PCBM125, 131 and PCMA001 here. Uh, the problem is uh, by the source point of the VCO block here. The feed point, feeding point of this VCO block is also the uh, source point and feeding point of the PLL and also the source and feeding point here of the oscillator one. And we have a problem here with all this frequency where are here on this circuit. And now Cybernet make a solution by the PTBM133 board by Multimode 3, Concord 3, Jumbo 3. Now we will see the solution by Cybernet. Okay, this is the circuit of the PTBM133 A4X schematic. Concord 3, Jumbo 3, Multimode 3 and other transceivers, I don't know. And we can see here the VCO block and the new source point. The new source point goes here away directly to the voltage regulator here. The voltage regulator is new, the feed point here. This here is the new capacitor, 330 microfarad. This here is the feed line from the voltage regulator via the 10 kilo ohm resistor to the VCO input, feeding input here. And this is the new 47 microfarad capacitor. And from this point away this is the 10 kilo ohm and here goes to the 15 kilo ohms to the regulator. But this transistor we don't need here on the P2M 125 here. This is only a switch here from the high channels here to change the VCO input about 5.5 volts to 9 volts. And this circuit is not needing here for our modification. Okay, and this is a solution by Cybernet on the PTBM 133 board like Concord 3 and Multimode etc. This point here this point here, this is the emitter point of the voltage regulator. And this here, this is the 10 kilo ohm resistor. And here we can see the break here, the old break, the old break here made by Cybernet. This is the old break original make by Cybernet. And this here, this is the 15 kilo ohm resistor going to the ground here via a, a switching transistor. Uh, this switching uh, transistor is only uh, needed by the uh, high channels. Yes, uh, this is the new circuit here about the source of the VCO block. Um, this is the VCO ground here. This is the 15 kilo ohm resistor from the plus point to the ground. And this is the 47 microfarad capacitor from the source point to the ground and this is the feeding line here or the track to the emitter of the Q36 the voltage regulator. Okay and last but not least we will stabilize here the voltage regulator with a higher electrolytic capacitor like 330 or 470 microfarad like this in the new cybernet schematic here 
uh, like this here on the voltage regulator of the PTBM 133 here we can see this is a 330 and it's a, a very more better here okay I'm back here this is a PTBM 125 board and this here This here is the emitter track of the voltage regulator about 10 volts. And from this point to the feeding and source point here of the VCO we must make a track, a new track with a 10 kilo ohms resistor. And then we must break this track here to the old source. This is the track to the old source, here is the old source point and we must break here the track. And then we make a uh, ground resistor with about 15 kilo ohms uh, from this point here to the ground. And it's uh, very important we make here an electrolytic capacitor. About um, 47 microfarad and then the VCO part is made with a new source with a very stabilized source here and the modulation will get absolutely perfect we will look okay we will look the old voltage here on the source of the VCO before Modification 5.75 volts here and now we will break the track here. Okay, we will start the modification here, breaking here the track. Okay, okay, and this is the part side before modification here. This here is the point for the new capacitor here. The new capacitor for the VCO stabilization goes into this place here. And this 47 microfarad capacitor by the voltage regulator here is now the new capacitor here for the VCO uh, okay, and these are the new parts here. This is a 10 kilo ohm resistor from the voltage regulator emitter to the new feed point of the VCO. And this is a stabilized resistor uh, from the new feed point of the VCO to the ground. And this is a 47 microfarad capacitor for stabilization here on the VCO source and this is the new capacitor for the voltage regulator here. This is a 330 microfarad um, capacitor here. Okay, we are back again after the modification here. Uh, this here is the emitter point here. From here, from there. To the feeding point here of the VCO here. This is a 10 kilo ohm resistor into this tube here, isolation tube. And here this is the 15 kilo ohms resistor to the ground. And this one here on the other side, on the part side, is the 47 microfarad capacitor. And now we look the new voltage here on the feeding point of the VCO. Okay, this is the part side after modification here. 
This is the new 47 microfarad stabilizing capacitor and this is the new 330 microfarad capacitor by the voltage regulator. Okay, we look the new voltage here on the sewers of the VCO of the modification. 5.76 volts, a little bit more. It's okay. And we are finished here. Now we have a very good, strong and clear SSP modulation. Thank you very much. Good luck.